Amanda, I have a tutorial for you today. Yay! Um, today I'm going to be using the Lorac Pro. Woo! The Lorac Pro palette. And I just got this over the holidays. It is an awesome palette. I really, really love it. Um, I did a bronze smoky eye, and I've been using this look a lot. Um, for like a daytime smoky eye. Um, I kind of vamped it up a little bit with eyeliner today, so, um, but obviously it can be worn at night. And I'm also trying out some new products that I've gotten too, so uh, I will go over that and um, what I think about them. It includes some of the new Physicians Formula things, the BB cream and CC creams, um, and then also the new mascara, CoverGirl Bombshell Mascara that I love, and it's just some more of my favorites and uh, old things too, but I will have everything posted on my blog. I'll put the link down below so you guys can have links to all the products and costs and all that stuff. So head on over there. The link again will be down at the bottom. Uh, yeah, so if you guys want to see how I got this look and some more info on the products I use, then just keep watching. Thanks. Okay, so I'm going to start out with the uh, CC cream, and I didn't put on any primer. I just have my moisturizer on my face, and I'm going to start out with the CC cream, and this is in light to medium, uh, and I don't know, I thought I saw someone else that had the organic line CC cream, but um, I couldn't find that one, so this is the one I found, and I think it's still pretty new. Um, with the powder and stuff. So, uh, I also have the little compact BB cream. So maybe I'll kind of incorporate that with it and, um, to see how much coverage we need. I'm just going to be using a little, this one, a little sponge to apply it all. And it has a pretty thick consistency. Like it doesn't, won't fall off your hand or anything. So I have not tried it before. It is very, it's nice. It's got a, a light sheer finish to it. I should have just done this side for you to see. Instead of that one. Nice finish. Um, I have a lot of redness in my cheeks, so I'm going to have to go over that with concealer. But, um, yeah, it's a pretty sheer finish. But this is nice, you know, if you don't want to wear a whole lot. And then I'll also see how the BB Cream Compact does with it, as well as the powder. So, you know, it's really natural if you're just looking for something, um, you know, to go to school or um, just to be outside and stuff like that, then... This might work. I'm gonna try to do a little bit more on my red areas. I'm gonna go and try to use a little bit of this um, compact. And again, this is the BB one. So this one seemed to be a little bit thicker, but we'll see. I'm putting this a little bit under the eye. And this is in the same shade. It's the light to medium as well. And this one has SPF 30 in it. Um, this gives a little bit more coverage. I don't always wear full coverage makeup, so 
doesn't really, I kind of am looking for something that's lighter. Because I do have a lot of dark spots and, okay, so got that. I'm going to do a little bit of the um, concealer and this thing's pretty cool because it's got the roller ball at the top. And I was testing it out and it took forever to twist up, but then it kind of twists up the product through the roller ball. It's a little weird, a little messy, because you can't really get the roller ball clean after you use it. It's just going to be kind of on there. So I'm not really sure about that, but it's nice because it's nice and cool. And it just kind of rolls on under a nice amount of product. Um, again, it's not the best coverage, but it's a nice, just, it feels really nice going on and, you know, it's more of a watery consistency. I'm not so sure, I'm not so sure about the concealer. It doesn't seem to conceal much. It does brighten a lot. Um, but this, also the purpose of this uh, Youthful Wear Concealer is it's supposed to be working at, you know, working on your sun damage and everything therapeutically as well as covering it up. So this whole line that they have, which I was going to try, but um, I wanted to try the CC line. So uh, the whole thing was supposed to be to help your skin rejuvenate your skin as you wear it. Um, I don't know. Like I said, if this is going to be a good concealer in the end, one that I'll reach for, but I'll probably just go back to my other concealer I use, and this is the Sheer Cover Concealer. Okay, and then I'm going to set it with my powder. I'm just going to get a big fluffy brush. And this CC powder is kind of a marble correcting powder where it's got the pink, yellow, and green in it. And this, again, is light to medium as well. So I'm just going to swirl my brush around on it. And I'm just going to pat it in. I'm going to do it all over. Um, this CC cream and stuff kind of made it a little dewy. If you like that dewiness, then just put powder, you know, just along maybe your T-zone if you feel like it needs to. My skin's been more dry since I've been pregnant. Okay, so now I've got the powder. I've got everything on. And um, overall... I guess I like it for lighter days. I'm not so sure it would be a good night one or an everyday one. Uh, we will see. I have a few other foundations that I've picked up. This CoverGirl Whipped one and this CoverGirl Outlast. And then I also did the CoverGirl um, BB Cream. So I'm going to uh, use those two and I'll kind of let you know which one out of all those I think is good. I'm just looking for a new foundation routine for 2014 so if you guys have your favorite foundations uh, just comment down below and please let me know I've been really really searching kind of just all the time my skin is always changing right now it's kind of dry so if you have any recommendations leave them down below yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of contouring on my face I'm gonna use my elf contouring blush and bronzing cream which I really love and I'm also gonna use this M cosmetics the uh, Chiara Scudo Scudo uh, a highlight stick and um, contour and it's got like the highlight stick on one end and this is in light and the contour so I do this and then I also use the cream because it also has like a blush in it so I'm just gonna kind of draw out where I want it I'm 
And then I take a duo fiber brush and I'm gonna go over with my bronzing. I'm gonna put this, get this in. And just dabbing so you don't get any blotchiness. nose I just kind of do with my fingers and I'm going to use a different brush duo fiber brush and I'm just going to pat in there I'm just going to get a little bit under not right on the balls but kind of just right by the bronzer so I want to keep this area highlighted. I'm going to take the actual powder and kind of set the bronzer and the blush. I'm going to take a little bit of my highlight, Not like different colors here. I'm going to use the lightest side and just go down the bridge of my nose. And then I'm going to get some just under my eyes. I'm going to use just a little bit of the lighter pink. And then I'm going to go a little bit pinker and go a little bit below on the outer kind of where my blush is. Obviously you can use any highlighter you want, any of these products, substitute it for what you have. I'm just kind of going with some new products that I have to show you and I can do a whole like dupe video, like I have a dupe for the shimmer, I have a dupe for the uh, the bronzing stick, uh, even the beauty blender. This is not a beauty blender. <laughs> so if you guys want to see that, then thumbs up this video and, um, I could do that. I could do a dupe video for you. So, okay. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrow and I am using the Maybelline define a brow, this little green thing. I don't really like this comb. So I just use my own little spoolie thing. I'm going to use my Chella eyebrow, def eyebrow, eyebrow Defining Gel. This is just a clear mascara, pretty much. I got this in one of our uh, Ipsy bags. And this is just going to help your eyebrows stay in place all day. So I think we're ready for some eye primer and our Rec Pro palette. So I'm just going to prime my eyes with, uh, how about the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer? It actually came with this, as well as it came with the liquid eyeliner we can try to use. Take some primer on my finger. Okay, so today from the Pro Palette, I, I'm kind of going to do a bronze smoky eye. Something that is still okay for the daytime. Uh, I've been doing this look a few times and I really like it during the day. Uh, first we're just going to take uh, just a, a C brush, eyeshadow brush here. And we're going to use the color um, cream and that's just kind of going to set our uh, primer in place. Go ahead and take the taupe here, um, the taupe one right here, and I'm just going to put it on the lid, 
kind of staying away from the very inner corner a third because I'm going to put some highlight there. So just taking that and just adding a little bit of depth. And then I'm going to take a smaller blending brush and this is a or contour brush here and this is just an elf one. And I'm going to go for a little bit of a darker brown. I'm going to use the color Sable, which is right here, this dark brown color. And I'm just going to put it at the edge and feel where the corner of your crease is, like that. Not taking it all the way in. And I kind of make it go a little bit out, kind of like a wing up here, if you can see. I take it up a little bit more past the crease over on that side. Same for the other eye. I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to go with a little bit darker espresso color right here next to it. And I'm just going to get that right in the outer corner. And just dab it in. I'm not going to blend with this brush. I'm just going to dab it in with this. I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush, a big fluffy brush. And I'm going to get in there and blend now. I'm going to go ahead and take that same espresso color and I'm going to bring it down um, underneath my eye. Take the fluffy brush again and we're going to highlight under the brow. Yeah, I'm going to use this champagne color here. It's a little bit sparkly. If you don't want to use um, anything shimmery, then you can just use the matte, the matte cream or the matte white, which is, I like that they give you both options. And then we left that inner third open, so I wanted to do this gold color here. And I want to put that in the inner third. And I'm just going to use my uh, ring finger here. And I'm going to just dab it. Right in there. this uh, Lorac eyeliner. It's just an eyeliner pen like this. And I haven't used it before, so we will see. I'm just going to do a thin line in the inner corner. Just little strokes. And a little wing. This is a nice pen because you can have really good control over it, but it's not super hard. It's easy to flick out. And then at this point you can either add false lashes. I do not like false lashes and also for like daytime I wouldn't wear them. But uh, you are more than welcome to do that. I'm going to curl my lashes and I'm going to put some mascara on. And I'm going to put on my favorite mascara that I've been using. And this is the uh, CoverGirl Bombshell Volume. It's the two-step one. And I'm going to take the number one on here. And this is a more 
volumizing part, and then the other one's more of like a definition. It's just a real black black to set it. And just go from the roots and wiggle up. do like two to three coats of this so depending on you know your eyelashes and I have really short eyelashes so I want to build them up so this would be the second and then before I do the second step I'm going to do the other eye. And it's just going to define them a little better. It's a smaller spool. And it's not clumping or, you know, it doesn't dry really hard so you're able to run this brush through. And it kind of gets through every lash and coats it. It's kind of like a setting, like a setting part. Okay, and I'm gonna spray my face with a setting spray. Hairspray for your face. I have a lipstick from Rimmel and it's a Moisture Renew number 620 in the color Spotlight Beige. And it's just this one. It's a pretty nude, not really too pinky, just a really pretty shade. Just like that. And then I'm going to do my hair and I'll be back. All right, guys, so this is the final look. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and uh, the Lorac Pro is kind of like the Naked 1 and 2 combined. Um, it's got a lot of nice dark colors and some really nice neutral ones too. So I think you kind of get best of both, both worlds. So I think you could be good with going with that instead of the Naked 1 and 2. But it is preference and everybody is really into the Naked palettes. So. Um, but that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.